Peace and grand rising to the sovereign, original, indigenous, natural, divine heirs. Today is June the 5th, 2023 on the ancient moon calendar, 2024 on the ancient sun calendar. All rise and stand and remain standing into perpetuity. This is a sovereign living ancient article three, Moorish American Al Moroccan Universal Court action. We are the sovereign living justices and Ego Sum, Pauline Denise Ritchie. My free chosen sovereign appellation is like Tajiri Bay. All are in Capitus Diminutio Nolo in red ink, in proprio persona sujuris, in proprio solo, and in proprio heredes. We are Capite et Corpus Juris Legalis, which is our statement that we are the lawful and legal natural head and body for our empire. All Moors are the original indigenous, sovereign, ancient, Al Moroccan, Moorish American ascendants of the great pharaohs of Kemet and of the ancient Moabites and Canaanites. Our full faith and trust, our allegiance, our credit and our energy are hereby vested in ourselves. For we are the people who are the original indigenous, natural divine, sovereign ancient empire state from Morocco. We're the de jure Moorish National Republic federal government. We are ancient Washington district for Columbia. We're the universal Moorish American consulate and the earthwide article three Moorish American consular courts. Today, we are exercising the law by our sovereign status, which is the original indigenous natural divine, sovereign ancient article three, living United States District for Columbia Court, and we are the sovereign fiduciaries, original creditors, executors, trustees, ministers, possessors, and titled beneficiaries for this cause for action. We are peace, we are one nation, one state, one empire, and one God. We hereby recognize ourselves and accept our sovereign ascension. We've issued a universal, uh, a universal creditor's uh, affidavit for possession, liquidation and custody over all land, all resources, both natural and national, all commerce and all other property. We, the one true God nation, are not at war, and we hereby exercise all eternal, ancient, original, sovereign rights at this time and at all points in time, nunc pro tunc. The principles that we share are not our opinion. Along with our sovereign, powerful demonstrations and study, these processes that we share are based on principles of stare decisi, res judicata, ancient positive supreme law for the land, long established in sovereign order. Erudite principles and processes for daily practical application to intelligently govern our vast estate every day is what our ancient ancestors have given us to share with the ancient sovereign nations, tribes, clans, states, and governments at Earth. For this, we are grateful. Uh, really quickly, all kingdoms are, an, are part of an empire, so if there are any kingdoms at Earth, such as the United Kingdom, that is part of the empire. The uh, kingdom of ancient Morocco, uh, the kingdom of Morocco, even the corporation, is still... Uh, subject and part, uh, part and parcel of the ancient empire. Um, and then quickly, I wanted to show the, uh, there's something called self-authenticating evidence um, that I want to share with you really quickly before we go into, uh, uh, because this is all part of what we're doing as well. Um, Let's take a look at that really quickly. Here, and I'll put in the chat the link to this that we're about to look at. This is the rule regarding self-authenticating evidence. So let me go on to... Okay, and uh, let me share my screen so that we can all see. Okay. So uh, let's just here. Let me 
remove that as well. Okay, uh, so evidence that is self-authenticating. Now, as we look at this, keep in mind all of the things you've done in the past, all of the documents that you've placed on the public record, anything that you've sent out to anywhere as far as notification, anything that you've delivered, anything of that nature. Listen to this carefully because this is so important. We've already been doing exactly what we should be doing, and that's why we're now seeing the manifestation of the things that we've stated. So Rule 902, Federal Rules for Evidence, evidence that is self-authenticating. The following items of evidence are self-authenticating. They require no extrinsic evidence of authenticity in order to be admitted. And when they say admitted, it's admitted into evidence in anything that has to do with anything. It can be evidence in any court action anywhere, from the grocery store to the side of the road to um, fake, uh, not fake courts, because we don't even go there, but to inferior courts and the like. Domestic public documents that are sealed and signed, a document that bears a seal purporting to be that of the United States, any state, any state, that means the Empire State, that means Washington, which is where, where we are. Uh, we're at Washington on the West Coast, uh, and many are, we're at uh, Seattle Territory, uh, and we're at Washington, the land. We're not at state of Washington. Um, and then whatever states you are at, and your state is also the empire state for Morocco, the ancient empire. And so uh, a seal purporting to be that of the United States, and we, we will restate this because purporting something purporting, that does indicate travel or transportation because the word port is in there. So they're saying something that's moving, purporting, whereas we, we, we port to, we port to Morocco, and then some report to Morocco. Uh, a seal purporting to be that of the United States, any state, district, commonwealth, territory, or insular possession of the United States, the former Panama Canal Zone, the trust territory of the Pacific Islands, a political subdivision of any of these entities or a department agency or officer of any entity named above. Uh, a signature purporting to be an execution or attestation. And for us, we would restate that and, and say that a, an autograph that is executing a document, exercising a document, uh, uh, activating any, an, anything, any documents or anything of that nature. Okay, so <clears throat> with that being stated, uh, Okay, so with that being stated, um, and then it says here domestic public documents that are not sealed but are signed and certified. So our government mailing process that we have spoken about uh, and encouraged everyone to do, if you've autographed documents and sent them that, via that process, that is a self-authenticating document. <clears throat> so uh, as it states here, uh, documents that are not sealed but are signed and certified, a document that bears no seal if it bears the signature of an officer or employer of any entity named in Rule 9021A, which is what we just read up above, and another public officer who has a seal and official duties within that same entity certifies under seal or its equivalent that the signer has the official capacity and that the signature is genuine. 
And we do that for ourselves. You know, when we seal and sign and stamp our documents and put our government seal on it and our right red thumbprint, uh, it's a wrap. Those are self-authenticating documents, which is why we do not go and pay fiat to someone that was previously doing business as a notary uh, for anything. Okay, so over and over and over and over again, we're being shown that we are sovereign and we have the absolute authority to, um, to authenticate anything that we send out and to self-govern as we so desire. So with that being stated, um, Let's um, go really quickly to the document. We want to do uh, a little bit more work on the bid bond, payment bond, uh, the general services process. So yesterday we went over the bid bond and the payment and the action uh, action bond, which is which would have been. Uh, in the last era, it was called a performance bond, but we're not we're not performers. We we actually do the actions, the court actions, uh, and these state the same thing that they stated yesterday. We've not changed anything or updated anything. Um, so we talked about that, and so uh, today we want to go over the surety affidavit. And, the, and at least one, I believe, let's see, yeah, the surety affidavits, because there's, there's a couple of them here. So this surety affidavit um, the reason for this affidavit is to state what the name of the surety is, okay? Surety does have a name, and the word gold is a name because we it's the name of a natural resource. And so uh, here we stated at right in the little disclaimer. This is the same disclaimer that was um, that was on the previous documents. Whereas the living surety, uh, and I'll make it as big as I can. I know the writing is a little bit small in some areas. Whereas the living surety, and gold is a living um, property. It's a living instrument. Whereas the living surety remains the property of the United States government for the continued living actions for the state stated government contract and satisfaction for claims pertaining thereto, all property is free on board with full settlement, full right, full proof by public instrument, and full jurisdiction by the government. This information collection meets the requirements for 44 United States Code, subsection 3507, paperwork production law. All comments and suggestions regarding the stated paperwork production law or any other aspects of this information may be sent to General Services Regulatory Secretariat 18F Street Northwest, Washington District 4, Columbia 20405. And again, if you'll notice that the address is stated as a land address. So we are addressing the proper inferior court when we send things to that address. Uh, there will be subjects in the office, in our office there, working. Um, and here, the state is, I put uh, now, uh, as we all download these documents and begin to use them, you will um, put your own editing touches on the document according to your will, according to your sovereign will. Uh, which is what we've done here, because again, the purpose of this is 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 to access our entitlements, all entitlements, no matter what they are, and we're entitled to everything. Uh, 
so you will put your own information in to these places where the surety affidavit is concerned. The rest of, of, of the documents that we went over, the bid bond, the payment bond, and the action bond, <clears throat> those are uh, you can add whatever information and edit them according to your will as well. Okay. We wanted to give you a general um, format for doing these, these types of actions. Okay. So here, the state, just one moment, let me pull this over. Okay, the state is Washington or United States. So that's any state within our United States, not any dead corpse. So the United States for us is the land states. We know that in the, in the old records, in the ancient records, they never called the land state of Washington. They would just say, Washington or New York or Georgia or Florida. Okay, they never said state of Washington Corporation or anything of that nature. So we've gone back to the ways of our ancient foremothers and forefathers and we just use the one word state or the two word New York, you know, or, or, or state, you know, however the state is stated. The county, I put king and all others. So whatever I'm sending this for, uh, and you can feel free to put your county as well, okay? We've put county charters on the public record. We've put state constitutions on the public record where we restated the county charters and restated the, uh, the state constitutions. Uh, and put them on the public record. So now we know we're talking about being, uh, our land and not, not some fake corporation. So for those who are hearing this, if you've not had the opportunity to uh, restate a county charter or to restate a state constitution, we would encourage you to do so. Uh, what does that entail? You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You go and find the corporate constitution that they were using, and what you do is you you go through it because that's how you're going to know what's in your constitution, and you edit out anything that has to do with corporate jurisdiction. So wherever it says state of Washington, I just took out state of and left the word Washington. Uh, we did it in uh, blue in capitis diminutio minima and in some cases red in all lowercase letters. However, whichever one of those you choose to do. But it must be rewritten and restated by, by us so that that presentment, when it goes on the public record, we know where everything and everyone is. Okay? So when we know where everything and everyone is, we can properly state where the property is located. And we, and we won't be uh, entering into a dead jurisdiction because we stated that it's a living jurisdiction. So uh, it says here, we, the herein signed, fully affirm and state that we are the principal fiduciaries for the surety stated here in the attached bond. We are entitled officers for the United States and are full age and legally competent. We, the principals, do peacefully, competently access the stated sum, both jointly and severally, as well as severally, for joint actions or actions in the favor for any or all of us. Each principal frees herself or himself jointly and severally and accesses the surety peacefully and competently. The surety is the eternal property for the principal. 
These statements are eternally created for the jurisdiction for the United States. All statements herein are true and are aligned and are in alignment with Title 18 United States Code sections 1001 and 494. And you can look those up when you have a moment and we we have restated them back to their original statement which is what our ancestors stated they were. The United States for America does hereby accept this affidavit as intended and created on the attached bond. Okay, so with that being stated, just one moment. Um, are there any questions about what we've shown thus far? <clears throat> um, just one moment, and I'll put the um, and you can unmute yourselves. Um, Islam. Islam Empress. Joshua and they and I up at the beginning um, with the address you or the uh, yes it was a wasn't a mailing location but it was the land address yes you had a zip code do we are we oh my God I said oh my God why is it working hold on for just go. Go ahead, Empress. Sorry. You said that there was a a. Well, um, I, I, on the address up in the beginning at the on the document. Uh -huh. um, you, you You're touching the sovereign. Let go. Don't do. Do not touch the sovereign. You're so I, my question was just the zip code with the land address, uh, and I just. So I may have missed, you know, up here, uh, in the, right here, District of Columbia, and there's a, a zip code. So I just wanted to confirm, do we use the zip code or we don't? Up top, um, I mean, in the surety affidavit. In the surety affidavit. Down here. here, right, yes. 20405. Yes, so we can, when we're talking about services, and everything else is spelled out. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yep. Right. Islam. Islam. Um, and then if you'll notice here, for the domicile land address, there's no zip code. But when right. you're talking about services and, and the estate and things of that nature, then yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Islam. So um, you would put it, for those who care to do so, you would put your land address here <clears throat> where it says 911 Southwest 314th Place, Federal Way, Washington. You can put your domicile land address there if you choose to, or you can leave uh, that one there, which that one is, is mine. Uh, uh, and when I say mine, it's really, it's the, it's the consulate address. Um, and then the name is gold, and then next to the name is the amounts as stated, which is what we were going to do, uh, which is in alignment with what we did previously on the bid bond, payment bond, and action bond. Um, and then I did put uh, email addresses and things like that. You don't have to put that if you don't care to put it. Um, and then name of the address of employer. The employer for, the, for this gold surety, I put the United States and then King County Superior Court. So whatever county court, because the county courts, when they're written out like this, with no abbreviations, that is the land bank. That is a land bank. And um, 
since we use um, since we use that uh, that uh, particular court as an inferior court to issue orders and things from and judgments and rulings from uh, we put that now for those who um, want to use this information you can or you can choose a county court at your territory and again when you note the address a particular way there will be no uh, repercussions there simply because you're not talking to any corpses if you if you if you put a two letter state then you you'll get some pushback or some feedback Okay, but if you if you spell it all the way out like like this, uh, like we do on all of the all of the documents that we put out, then you will be speaking to the ancient old court that is an inferior court to your supreme Article Three authority, and they will they will yield and do as commanded. And then uh, name and address of individual surety broker used uh, Office for United States for America estate. So again, that's all of us. That's, every, that's our whole, that's our estate. Um, at, and that, that, that is for even those who are at the other lands because all of the, all of the United States for America is the whole earth actually. Um, because that is the state united together and we're all united for each other and I've explained that in other other videos for example the United Kingdom is the United Kingdom it that is the United States for the United Kingdom or the United States for Great Britain and then there's the United States for Africa the United States for for Brazil the United States for Venezuela and you can google those and you'll see that in the olden times the um, the United States, all seven continents were United States for something, United States for Europe, United States for um, uh, and I could, I could, I could name, you know, any of the seven continents and the, and they'll be the United States for, uh, for, and whatever the name of that continent is. So with that being stated, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, Justice Howard has asked in the chat, where should we look for the charter of the county? You can just Google it and it should come up. And we, we you know, we restate them, of course, in either blue or red and put them on the public record <clears throat> and then notify those uh, subjects in the office of the county by just sending them a copy. Uh, auto, autograph, stamped and sealed copy. And you can stamp and seal it with your right red thumbprint and that will be sufficient. Okay. Islam, man. Islam nobility. Um, um, I think I'm noticing the color green if I'm seeing. Is that uh, yeah, part of the uh, script and the uh, uh, writings in, uh, in green, like uh, in the public trust court. That is actually a darker color blue. It looks green oh. because you know, the more I copy it, and this is this I find this very interesting. The more I copy it, the darker it got. Until it almost turned black. If I copy this, you know, 50 times, by the time I copy it that 50th time, it will probably look black. Wow. You know, copies lose their um, characteristics the more you copy it, you know. 
if I copy it and then I make a copy of that copy and then a copy of that copy, each time it's going to get worse and worse. And it'll and, and after a while, all of the writings will be black, which I found interesting because that also told me that the things that we've been looking at with the black ink and capital letters and all of that, that might be why everything was black because it's been copied so many times. But that's neither here nor there at this point because we've restated everything. So, yes, there was an extra dollar sign there. Um, so now, uh, name and address for financial institution sending notification of trust entitlement assets. The gold is a trust entitlement asset. Okay, um, and then uh, feel free to notice this routing number and use it, 0260002066. Um, there's a little bit of feedback coming from one of the lines. I'm not sure which one that is. Oh, yes, it is. No free no conveyance in the old era. era. That's where it's coming from. Okay, uh, and then... Number seven, the following is a true presentation for the trust entitlement assets that we have affirmed as property for the United States. And that's the birth certificates for United States natural persons. And again, we create our own birth certificate, which is allonged or attached or connected to our living, sovereign living birth affidavit. Our birth affidavits on eight, and a half, on eight and a half by 14 are the ancient document that the, the ship that is known as a birth certificate is attached to. So that it, the ancient, the birth affidavit, we keep that one. We don't send that one. We don't, it's not necessary to send that out. We can send out the birth certificate and let that do for the things that we're uh, doing, because you do want to attach a copy of your birth certificate that you create from the from the uh, the old. You know, it should look very similar, and the information should be pretty much the same, except it's restated information from the fraudulent one that was issued. Okay, because we're the government. We, the government, must issue our own birth certificates because those are creditor instruments and not debtor instruments. So it says here, C statement information, cause number, uh, and for the cause number, it's going to be the trust entitlement for United States for America estate. Trust entitlements is birth certificates that we've created, it's state security numbers that we've created, it's uh, any, any, anything that we've created to include, you know, we have Moorish government issued state driver's license for those who, who choose to have that, to, who choose to engage in commerce. Uh, those are uh, I would state that, the, that they're necessary, okay? And then it says, see the public record for the record number or state security number and par face amount for each security instrument or all other. So we've put on, we, you know, with our birth certificate, we, we attached a $100 million bond to it that we created. These are all creditor bonds that go with these things. So you send a copy of your creditor bond with these, this, the bid bond, payment bond. Uh, no, I didn't, I, I didn't put that, that uh, link in the chat. There's someone pretending to be light. Let me go ahead and get my, my boot out there. Uh, so here, and then it says here number eight, and this is this is again more of this of the this process. 
lists the trust entitlement assets that are the property for the United States. And then it's, it says the same thing, birth certificates for United States natural persons, state uh, statement information, cause number is the trust entitlements for United States for America state. So that would be the birth certificate number. For example, when my birth certificate, not mine, when the frauds issued uh, the, a birth certificate for their person, who's not a real person, uh, that record number that they issued said that it was record number 798. So uh, what I did was I restated that number, and so now my birth certificate that I created is also birth. It's issued by Michigan Health Ministry or Michigan Healing Ministry. It's record 78. So if I sent that, to the right address written all the way out of Michigan Vital Statistics, they would be able to record that and, ma and, and match it up in the system with the creditor, not the debtor. Okay, so their books would be balanced. And that's what we've done. Uh, we, sent, we send these things out and notify, uh, notify, notify everyone. Number nine says, list the trust entitlement assets for which the gold that is the surety are attached. And so this is stating that gold backs our birth certificates, okay, for United States natural persons. Okay, we're not natural persons. We're the natural people. Per, a person is a tool that we use, and that's why we keep putting it to the birth certificate. The birth certificate is a person. Uh, documents are persons. Corporations are persons. Property is, is considered a person. Okay. And then uh, here on this one, at the bottom, there's a place for uh, someone. Previously, they were saying a notary needed to be here. Okay, but we don't use notaries, so we affirm our own because in reality, all of our documents, according to self-authentication, that's why we showed that, uh, uh, is, is, is all of our documents are self-authenticating. We authenticate them. No one else can. Just like no one else can properly identify us, we must identify ourselves. So documentation for the trust entitlement asset must be attached. So you want to attach a copy of your uh, the birth certificate that you create. Do not attach a copy of a fraudulent birth certificate to this because it's, it's, that's, that's, that doesn't work. Okay. Uh, and then you will autograph there. You, you, you can put your signature there in blue. And then where it says name and title of official, you would, sign, you would autograph that in red. I'm sorry, where it says name and title of official, you would put uh, fiduciary, trustee, attorney, in fact, or you can put chief justice. Um, you know. I've solved your conveyance oh, denial oh, problem. Oh, Get a loan or pay cash. But, um, if you don't pay, yeah, they'll take it away. You got to pay. Uh, and you could also put, again, uh, and I'll state that again for those who may not have heard uh, what was stated, name and title of official. Uh, you can put your sovereign-born appellation, and this actually should be, uh, yeah, it can say name and title of official because, again, these are format documents. They're forms. Uh, we say appellation for our the the military document, not military, the peace officer, well, it is kind of military because they're peace officer documents. Document, our affidavits that are on Moorish government letterhead escort these documents safely on the high seas. Okay? So on these forms and for, on these forms that we create, we can say name and title of official. But on our uh, affidavits, we say appellation. Okay. 
Um, and so here I would put Pauline, uh, Chief Justice Pauline Ritchie here, or I could put Consul Pauline Ritchie, or I could put um, United States official, or I could put notary Pauline Ritchie. All of us are all of that together, okay? It's in our blood to be the law. Our ancestors, we, we actually inherited the bloodline and birthright that states that we are the law. And then I would sign here, either in blue or red, either one is fine. And then it says here, city and state or other jurisdiction. Um, we would put the name of land. So it, for us, it's Federal Way, Washington, spelled all the way out. That is our jurisdiction. We're the real Federal Way. And then there was a corporation that was previously doing business, uh, enacting doing business as city of Federal Way, quote, unquote. So we put a lien on them. We did a, a, quite a few court actions regarding um, uh, some things that we were doing. We, we did court actions, and there are, there are videos of those out on at Light to Jury Bay channel on YouTube of those court actions that we did. Um, and so... Uh, and then you would put your, your government stamp and seal or your right red thumbprint as your stamp and seal. And then where it says my commission expires, it does not. Our, our commissions don't expire because we don't expire. So what we would do with that is we would take our... And then we could say our commission... Is dated. Greetings from the state of Washington, dated. city of Olympia, where That's Governor why, Jay why. Inslee is standing oh, proud as the true governor of the state. Okay. And so we could uh, easily put here my commission is acted, uh, let's see, is. Uh, my commission does not expire. And then we would stamp and seal and do those things with this document. Now, with this reinsurance uh, trust uh, entitlement bond, reinsurance for trust entitlement bond payment, and again, this the payments are coming to you. They're not going out. They're coming to you, or they're coming to whoever it is that you're doing business with for whatever entitlement you choose, you know, uh, because these are treasury documents, okay? And the treasury, you know, access to the treasury, we're the treasury. So we use these to access different parts of our vast estate. So we would send these. For anything and anyone, you know, that is first leaned and, and put in subject status and levied, uh, and, and you've done that by court action, then you would send this so that they are in alignment with regard to what to do with these documents, okay, which is to access and send free on board your documentation. Islam. Or whatever it is that you have. Islam Empress. Can you open up the meeting for um, Angel Bay? Yes. Thank you, Thank you. Empress. Islam. It's, it's, uh, it's unlocked, Empress. So, um, And then uh, as here, down at the bottom, or not at the bottom, but in the middle, here, uh, the bond number is going to be birth certificate record numbers or the 
or the bond number that's uh, attached here, you know, whichever you choose. You know, so for mine, it would be, you know, birth certificate 798, and then, you know, you, you would see a copy of that birth certificate. Um, description of contract. For this one, because it's for the United States for America, we just put a general statement there that says all affidavits, statements, documents, instruments, and all other placed on the public record by the principals. And then it says entitlements, credits, and payments to the principals are Your conveyed DUI from the birth certificate in perpetuity on the, on the record. Um, this one. Uh, entitlements, credits, and payments to the principals are conveyed from the birth certificate trust accounts. So there's your payment for whatever you're accessing on the vast estate. And again, there is um, proper accounting that goes with what we're doing. Okay. Now, this address right here if you go to, if you look up a Form 56 fiduciary uh, form from the last era that we do not fill out because they don't work for us, uh, you will see an address that looks similar to this one on that form, except it's a corporate address that, that is not valid because it's got a two-state, it's got Washington D dot C on it, which is not valid. Uh, and that is where the fiduciary trustee attorney, in fact, um, information and, and anything that has to do with the treasury and the, um, and the all caps of anything goes. And that fiduciary responsibility Again, it's still on the land because we're spelling everything out. And that fiduciary responsibility part of the system speaks directly to 55 Water Street up here. Okay. They talk to each other and ensure that things are conveyed properly in our system. So are you going to prove that this is going to get your so conveyance, or are you going to leave it up to the, um, one of the any, sheeples to uh, go out and try it? About that? Does anyone have any questions about that? Questions, comments? <laughs> questions, comments, wisdom? Anyone. Islam, Grand Rising. Grand Rising. Why Islam. do you have to level up when you we're said that you got everything already, Polly? Why do you have to go yeah, up a level? You, could, you have uh, everything already, could, Polly. Um, remember? Remember? Go ahead, Empress. We're glad that you could join us. Go ahead. Gratitude, yes. Um, I heard some of it early yesterday, um, but then I got had to travel on a... Uh, railways. Um, hey, you stupid so, cousin, you need to obey when are you getting that free conveyance, yeah, bitch. Hold We're on still waiting. Let me, let me put that out. Go ahead, Empress. Um, and actually, I started, you know, editing the document myself today. So um, the point of doing it from the perspective of the so sovereign security number, right, and um, is it would this information be the same it's because it says gold now instead of an appellation and um a social security number would it still be the same as far as the the, the wording on the document i don't understand the question so because um when you had previously did the document right you had mm -hmm. your appellation and then you had the location where you were um brought into this plane and um and the the location from where the um the birth certificate was created. Mhm. Mm 
And mm -hmm. then um, when you restated it for the gold, the locations changed and some of the content has changed. Um, yeah. So I was I'm, I'm asking from the perspective of the the sovereign security number. Um, it's go, it's for the contract. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Okay. So the gold. This is the contract number two o two five nine two three. And when you look that number up, even on Google. Uh, in the last era, that was the number for the United States. Mm. Okay. And we, what we did is, of course, lean them, levy them out of, you know, because they're fraud, and mm -hmm. then we restated that number. So that's the number of the contract, uh, which is in alignment with the Constitution for the United States that talks about the gold and the silver. Okay. Um, and and I don't I don't know if I, I googled about um, escrow and how to terminate the corporate contract from the escrow, right? And I put it in Google search and um, it came up and it, it pertains to the secretary.gov um, website and it says any party may terminate this agreement at any time for any reason by giving at least 30 days written notice. Escrow agent um, resignation. Escrow agent may unilaterally resign by giving written notice to issuer, um, whereupon issuer will immediately appoint a successor escrow agent. And like I stated, this was in the secretary um, for state. I mean, Beautiful. yeah, because we restated it, so it is for state. And so, um, yes, so one of the notices essentially would, would go to our office at the secretary yeah. for state. Yes, and this right here is saying that we are the escrow and not them, so that they can they can close their account and we'll take it from here. That's what this is stating uh, here uh, on pa the second page, which is release for all living person property from escrow. So, so what you just read, we we've, we've done in this document. Okay. Very it says, good. Now, now, therefore, thank you for, for, for affirming that. Now, therefore, this affirmed affidavit witnesses that the government hereby releases from escrow all living property as stated and intended and accepts airship possession custody for all living escrow accounts and property for shipment and delivery now to the entitled beneficiaries, heirs, trustees, executors, and ministers. So that's us doing what you just read, you know. Um, it's that kind of study that's so important. And, you know, when we're doing these documents, we go down all the rabbit holes. That's why all we do is study <laughs> and, and put documents together. We go, we go down the rabbit holes and read things, and, and we have found that our study is greatly abbreviated or shortened because there is a format for everything. Everything that we've ever wanted had to be restated and we had to take responsibility for it. That's what you just read there, Empress Angel. Uh, and so for everyone who, who's, who's hearing this, um, we couldn't just tell them that's not their stuff. We actually have to assume, uh, take responsibility for everything, everything. Any offices that they were claiming to hold, we had to take those because there are offices. So that's why we said, you know what, we'll just start from scratch, lean everything, levy everything, and then restate everything. And that has proven to be so effective that it's just, I, I'm amazed at how quickly everything has taken place with regard to what we're doing. We don't have to reinvent the wheel, but we do have to do the study and look at what they did. That's why the prophet said what he said about he's, they're going to leave the European here long enough to teach us how to govern because they've done everything, but we have to look at it and then not use theirs because theirs is fraud, 
restate everything like we're doing right here and then take the positions. Mm -hmm. um, one more uh, quick question. So when it comes to um, bonding the, um, you know, because we leaned our accounts that we were for, for previously doing business with, you know, like whatever bank it would have been, like Wells Fargo or what have you, um, would how would that be stated with the bond document from this perspective? As far as um, it would be stated the same way uh, when we first showed the bond process, where I showed you one that I did for, uh, I, I, and I just used Mercedes as, as an example. You would state it that same way, that same way for anything that you're doing. You would do an individual document. That's that's what we said about jointly and severally. You know, you can do an individual demonstration with these. You know, um, and I could pull that one up if and and you can just look at it really quickly if if you like. Um, yes, to see please. how you know how we would state that uh, because with this document that's on the screen we got all the way down to the reinsurance for trust entitlement bond payment. Uh, on Thursday, we will finish this demonstration up because this must be restated. But I still wanted you to see this agreement written the way that it was written previously because all they did, and this is why we have to restate everything. Uh, so before I go to that example, uh, Empress Angel, I'll, I'll pull it up. Can you still pretend governed from That's jail? Moment, I was actually, you're the um, one getting governed when you're sitting in jail, y'all. Um, the one that I put up previously was, I did that one first because it was an individual. Um, it was an individual one. So just one moment. I don't know, y'all. I'm, I'm actually liking talking over when they start talking. I like to talk over because that's how they were doing. When, when Moors would go into fake court, they would be talking over the Moors. And so we do that here. We, we learned that from them. So, um, but if you, if you read this right here and, and the way they stated these before we restated them, you, you would just be appalled. I, I was I was absolutely appalled when I saw this. Uh, what was in these these bid bond payment bond and performance bonds, you know, prior to us restating them, and there were mores mores actually filling those things out and sending them off, binding themselves to debt forever and binding all of their heirs to debt forever without reading it. And, 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 you know, I was like, did you all even read that document? Because you cannot be sending that kind of stuff out. That's crazy. Um, let's see. Sample creditor bond. Uh, okay, this is, I believe, the, the latest one that I did. The final. And again, this was a, a, a sample example. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is the one that I did uh, with regard to um, a personal, uh, a, a government vehicle rather, not a personal one because I, I have a personal one, a government vehicle. So uh, let's see. So this is where we we put things in, and and again, uh, some of this has been updated. Washington needed to be uh, printed all the way out or written all the way out. Uh, let's see, and then it was saying charges against the Pauline Denise Ritchie estate. So again, you know. As we're doing these things and we're reading them, um, and 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 showing these these documents, we get 
better we get better uh, overstanding as we start looking at this process. So here, this is the bid bond. And this uh, Lansing, Michigan address with Michigan spelled all the way out is the Michigan Vital Statistics place. That's where, they, where, that's where the birth certificate originated. Okay, but there's a land birth certificate that we created that goes to Lansing, Michigan, spelled all the way out. Okay, and then the Depository Trust Corporation was using that birth certificate to do whatever they did, but they were at New York NY. So New York NY and Lansing MI were talking to each other and doing the fraud with the fake birth certificate. And so we, we just said, okay, we, 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 our government can, can, can do this better. So let's give it a go and then let the ancestors show us where things need to be, where we need to put things, how we need to write things out. You know, uh, when we first start doing these types of demonstrations more uh, we're not afraid to go ahead and demonstrate it and see what the ancestors say about that demonstration it 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 doesn't have to be perfect it's going to be perfect by the time we're done with knowing uh how to do this is empress shasha empress shasha i don't know if you put yourself on hold no, did you I put did yourself? Not, I haven't posted I haven't anything in bath or anything. Bath or anything. Or anything. I'm I'm but I'm listening. listening. Oh, okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. I just want to be sure. Uh, okay, so, um, so and then uh, let's see here. Back to this one. Uh, you can see that even with the one that we did. We had to we had to restate this stuff right here. Uh, here it's it's somewhat restated because it talks about the United States for America. But if you look here, it talks about a penal sum, which is not correct. Okay, for payment of the penal sum, we bind ourselves, our heirs, executors, administrators, and successors jointly and severally. Uh, and fortunately for us. Because we restated it, it does not, it won't do anything. There just won't be any response to it because we restated it, you know, and then we put United States for America on here. Uh, and because we don't have any debt, anyone who received this, they just won't do anything. They won't do anything that's been stated. Okay. And so when we're doing the demonstrations um, and sending things out, um, they cannot use our documents when, even if our, for example, if our documents are not all the way competent, like this one, I'm looking at it again, and to me, it's still not fully competent. But I had to get started on the process so that the ancestors could show me some things over time, uh, over time being a week or two of looking at the documentation and then uh, honing in on the process, okay? Starting to look at each and every word, knowing what each and every word. Uh, Empress Shasha, what you pointed out earlier, here it says 18 F Street, NW, Washington, D.C. That is not a real address. So on the one that we did uh, here, this one, we corrected that up here. Now it says Washington District for Columbia, you know, and everything is spelled out, you know. So, and that's what the Grand Rising is. It's just us going up and, you know, looking at the processes and not being afraid to demonstrate them, 
Because see, now that we are now that we know that we're the state and we're the government, uh, our jurisdiction is solid. It is what it is. We just uh, it is our duty and responsibility to remain in our own jurisdiction, and that is where the testing comes in. At is are you going to capitulate to their back to that other jurisdiction, or are you going to stay in your own jurisdiction and do your own governing? You know, so uh, Empress Angel, this is the one right here. And, you know, we restated this uh, OMB control number. And if you'll look on this bid bond, we spelled it out. Uh, let's see. Here's the bid bond. Uh, it says Office for Budget Management control number. So we spelled all of that out up here at the top. So again, the more we practice and do, not it's not even practice because we're really actually demonstrating. Um, but the more we demonstrate, the more precise we become with the documentation. Um, the thing is, we have to start somewhere. We can't sit and not do anything. We have to move on our estate boldly fearlessly, you know. So uh, Empress Angel, is there anything on this, this older one here that you wanted to see? We did a little restating in, in here uh, on this one, but now if, when we, re, when we uh, update this one, it's going to look like this one. It's going to look like this with the restatement piece. And we may add a few things in there uh, as well. Islam, I, um, I did hear you mention yesterday that um, the way that it's restated proper is going to be the, the content throughout all the bonds. Yeah. Okay. This, this, this way, in, in this manner. Um, but again, we're saying throughout all the bonds, but 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 Morris can you can't tell Morris what to do. You can you can restate it however you choose to restate it. Whatever your study says, whatever your spirit says, all we're doing it is it is we feel that it is that that we've been sent to put put it out there and say this is what we can do. These you know the estate belongs to us. This is how we would do it. How would you do it? You know, and then us all demonstrate together. You know, uh, we do the study and we just keep doing it and keep doing it and we look at it and we fix it and do it a little better and, you know, more precision, more precision, more accuracy, more study, going down the rabbit hole, fixing and learning and seeing and remembering you know, how to be ourselves on our own land. Something as simple as, you know, initially we just put trust entitlements here, and now we're saying trust entitlements according to the Circle 7 Holy Quran for the Moorish Holy Temple for Science, Chapter 25. Just always updating and fixing and, you know, expanding our information and our knowledge. And then sharing it. And that's why the ancestors continue to give us more information because we share the information so much. And you all know about that. You share information uh, just like we do, you know. So, indeed. Are there any other uh, comments, wisdom, any changes, anything? Islam nobility. It's harder to uh, keep taking snapshots of. <laughs> yes, so I will put them. It's annoying trying to get all this together. If we can just have the template, we can be a little bit easier. Thursday, this template will be put under this video and the last two. 
because we'll be complete. We'll, we will have finished it on Thursday. We just wanted to continue to, uh, to perfect it. You know, further perfections that we'll be doing is like here at 4A, even though we haven't put anything in here, we're going to take the word penal out just because we want to perfect, you know. And then all of this is going to be rewritten on Thursday. Okay. And then, and, and, and uh, I believe we only have, yeah, uh, let's see. One, two. What exactly are these, Shandy, is these, uh, this demonstration is for all demonstrations? I'm saying they got to go with all the guardians. I can't hear you. Okay. Can you speak up just a little louder, nobility? Um, this particular uh, forms or the, the, these bonds and stuff, they go with all of our demonstrations. We just have to tweak it to whatever demonstration it is. Um, if the demonstration calls for a payment, then yes. And it's a, it's a template. You'll only have to change uh, these last few pages. Okay. So this is kind of like a remedy for uh, if it's for domicile or conveyance. Mhm. Mm uh, this is this is paying bills, bank bank accounts, opening up bank accounts, stuff like that. Yes. This is what they were using because even utilities and things like that were they were supposed to be public utilities, but the public had not spoken. So this is for public things. It's for private things also, but, but public things mostly. And again, we had to, we had to lean the corpse off the corpse energy off of whatever we were doing, whatever we were speaking to first and then we could speak to that living property and have it do or that part of the system and have it do what is necessary. Okay. So this is the old one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the old one. And this is the this is where we we will uh, adjourn this presentment today, and then on Thursday we will continue because I'm I'm trying to uh, not trying to I'm I'm crossing T's and dotting I's. Um, if you'll notice, I did change the way the date is 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 uh, presented to match county court date stamps. We showed how, we showed the difference between the county court, the, the way the county court does the, state, the date and the other, court, you know, inferior courts. The other inferior courts do the date differently. We know there's something to that. And it's actually in alignment to have the year first and then the month and then the day going from left to right instead of going from right to left. Although right to left is it, it can be, you know, we can we can do it that way if we choose to, but we just have to agree that that's what we're going to do. You know, but we looked at those court stamps that we went and used and you know, we have access to, free access to at all times. And that's the way the King County Superior Court and, and Snohomish County and uh, uh, the, the main county courts have their dates that way. So, you know, it's the little things that 
that we're focusing on. Once we do the presentment first and we, you know, we do a general one like the Mercedes one that we did here, then we go back and, and look at that process again and say, how can we uh, make this process better? You know, what can we adjust and fix on this process to make it more perfect? So uh, just one moment. Just one moment. Islam, Empress. Islam. Why are you doing that? Um, question the um, principal should prior to executing or or exercising this process should first have liens done um, court action default uh, levy yes geez just one more uh, what was that well birth certificate done yeah. uh, is, there, is there any other court action that's that I'm missing I think it was one more the first those those first six documents just have them on the public record. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. That's it. That's good. That's it. Why is all of this necessary? Because first of all, the heirs have to know. Uh, just one moment. The heirs have to know, we, have, we must know our own system. We must know our own system, know our own, uh, um, just one moment. We must know our own system. Uh, we, we, we should know the system better than the subjects by the time we get done doing all the things that we're doing, you know. So uh, it's all good. It's all good. We're we're there. Just one moment. Let me do a little housekeeping here. Are there any other questions, comments, wisdom of any kind from this? Amazing Congress. Islam. Islam, Empress. Um, Islam. Oh, I'm sorry, that's someone else talking. There, yeah, there was some, there was someone else uh, uh, speaking. I'll I'll be quick. Mm -hmm. When you were talking about the birth certificate, mm -hmm. how how would you construct or make your own birth certificate? Um, what I would do, uh, this is, this is what we've done. What we have done is we have, um, just one moment. Let me see who this is. Uh, we have, um, what we've done is we have, we looked at the old one, the one that the fraudulent one, we looked at it. And then what we did was uh, we made one that looked similar to it, but instead of it being created by them, it's created by us. It oh. looks very similar, very similar. Okay. With, with much of the same information. Yes. All right. Um, yep. hmm. I, I like that. Thank you. Yep. Um, Indeed. I have an, another question. I it's want fine. to receive uh, the documents or affidavits and instructions to claiming my nationality. 
what's okay. the best way of going about that? Do you have email? Yes. Okay. Uh, if it's Karima, are you here? It's, um, either uh, either Empress Karima or Empress, anyone who can forward in, uh, th those documents to her. Is there someone who can do that? Empress Shasha, could you say something, please, so that I can uh, figure out which one of those is you? Is, uh, is, are you talking to me? Yes, Empress Shasha. Yes, I just wanted me. to. Um, yeah, I was going to offer to speak so that maybe you could get rid of yeah. that. Thing. I got it. I got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they have nothing better to do. I'm telling you. <laughs> you know what? And I would, I would say get a life to them, but, but, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I no, just that's the point. Have no that's what exactly. <laughs> Honestly, no. That was a, that was some programming mess right there too. When when they started telling people, "Oh, get a life, get a life." <laughs> um, <what laughs> they, want, they wanted us to give away our sovereign living status, didn't they? <laughs> One of them followed me through YouTube and left a message uh, on one of my. Um, uh, one of my, uh, I'm a creator. I, I'm trying to be a creator also. And uh -huh. I have a message on one of my posts. I blocked them. Yeah. But I knew, mm -hmm. you know, and I expected it. But that's fine because I, I can continue to block foolishness. Yeah. And if someone could forward me those, um, that information, that email that's there, that is mine, and I would be greatly, uh, uh, can someone forward her nationality documents? I, I what, can what is that email? Forward. What is that email? It's, Empress, it's what's your email? email? But I, it's Randall. I, you know what? Can you put it maybe in the chat? Maybe. The, I'll put yes, it in send it in the chat. Sure. Thank you. Gratitude. It's and what, all right. It's love. Sorry. What were you saying? Is Just to speak now? Sure, go ahead. Go ahead, Empress. Yes, Empress. Yes, uh, this is Mariah, and I'm a coming to uh, uh, public. And I was just going to uh, ask all the Moors to, you know, like me being a painter, I do several things, you know. So listen, creatively. So there's another sister, and I'm not going to say her name, but I'm expecting her privacy. And she's um, somewhat depressed due to the non-responses that she gets for, I guess, her livelihood as being a painter and an artist. And um, I feel as though a part of her has kind of lost faith in us, you know, as this congressional assembly. And so I'm not for certain what her methods are for marketing, you know, ETC, you know. Um, and also I, I send her occasional motivational poems and things like that. And so um, because I'm a much older woman, I... I give her some words of wisdom because I've had my challenges as well, um, especially now, and I'm dealing with, you know, the sinus bradycardia thing, and that's okay because I'm going to be all right. I was just asking, you know, that because I know how she feels like because uh, when visiting the New Orleans territory, you will find that on Bourbon Street, uh, a lot of artists go there or Jackson Square, and they attempt to sell their art and people walk by. Well, a lot of folks do not realize that Painting is a form of prayer, you know, because they, they teach you that in school. The first thing, you know, form, shape, and color, and that's an elemental thing. And in, even the word element, it is of a natural something that occurs. And so I was just asking everyone to, you know, send out some commands that we can come to some kind of, um, we can come to some kind of networking something or like one of the business things I wanted to do was a bartering type system, you know, in lieu of, of course, sovereign dollarium, but it must be, you know, something that we can do, you know, to encourage one another and to come together. 
aside from uh, me, I'm guilty of, you know, I would, you know, extract some emails from the conference, and I would email that body of, um, you know, my more folks questions or comments or help, and let's do this and that. And then last time I did it, I only got one response, and then the, uh, it happened to be a hybrid because, you know. But anyway, all I'm saying is that please, you know, um, you know, command some more energy. And as an energy worker, so to speak, uh, being out, me, I've been out on the energy, you know, uh, what you call them, tarot card readings, but I do energy readings. And I, you know, had always told a lot of us, uh, travelers or visitors, that since the end of 2019, there's been a lot of, um, I've mentioned this before, but it's just that atmospherically when they say so above, so below, well, you know, our, our melanin radiates magnetic ions and so does the sun. And so that's a lot of influx of, you know, magic, so to speak, you know, emanating from, you know, the heavenly host, so to speak. And I just wanted everyone to please, you know, just pray for the sister and she, you know, comes on sometimes, you know, and she's a part of the calls sometimes. And I just, you know, we're just asking everyone to uh, please send out some healing and directive energy, you know, for proper marketing and proper networking, you know. That's Islam. It. It's a form of you know, prayer. Yes, Islam. Islam. Thank you. Islam. You're welcome. Thank you for, yes, for bringing that uh, forward. Yes, let me important. let me say that, you know. I, I don't want to interrupt you, but she, she's kind of downtrodden. Of, that's all, you know. She's yes, what? what? Kind of downtrodden. That's why I want everybody to send some healing energy and, mm-hmm. you know. We always do. We always send Thanks. out healing energy and positive energy to the matriarchs, you know, particularly at this time, because this is the the matriarchal era. And, you know, the matriarchs are having to, uh, you know, we're having to, to go beyond our feelings and stand, you know, so, so we, we, we send out healing praise and energy and, you know, to the matriarchs all the time. Um, I would encourage her just like my mother would encourage me, you know, she would say that when you're feeling low, get up and get busy doing something so that you can, so that you can, you're, you can take your mind off of whatever it is and then have your mind reconnect with something that might inspire you. You know, mm-hmm. shrinking back and shrinking away is going to feed her downtrodden feelings and energy or that downtrodden energy. It's going to feed it the more she isolates. Isolation is the last thing that is necessary when we're feeling downtrodden and low. We need to be around each other and with each other and among each other. You know, so we would encourage her to, to, you know, it might be a little bit of a fight to go ahead and attend and, you know, and get into the study. Uh, it might be a little bit of a, uh, and, you know, it might take some effort for her to do that, but we would encourage her to do that. You know, uh, those are conversations that I have even with my empress when she's laying around and just, you know, I'm like, uh-uh, up, let's up, up. Physician, heal thyself. Get up and, and, and get moving. We have to keep going. It's kind of like uh, the story of Moses and the people coming out of Egypt. Some were, got tired. Some didn't want to move. And they, and, and they would have somebody to say, come on, come on, come with us. We got we to gotta do this together, you know. So we do send healing energy to her and strength energy to her and peace energy to her because it's really about the peace. You know, it's really about the peace. Great, thank you. So, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. And let her know that we're sending peace to her. Thank you, yes. And strength, Islam. 
Are there any other questions, comments, wisdom from this great Congress? Islam, yes. Islam. You mentioned Form 56 a while back during the 5th Congressional Assembly. And you said mm -hmm. not use that form, and I was wondering if you meant unless it's restated or in general. Uh, unless it's restated. Gratitude. Yeah. We can do whatever we want when it's restated. Ashe, I yield. And in fact, we're encouraged to do that. Look at whatever forms they have, and if you want, if there's something you want to achieve by using, you know, that those forms were purporting to do, purporting to do, then restate the form and, and, and send it and make sure that the addresses are all written all the way out. That's what, we, that's what we're supposed to be doing with everything, you know. Are there any other questions, comments, wisdom? And that's really all we do really here is restate everything. We've restated fiat so that it's not fiat anymore. We use real money. All we're doing is looking around and saying, oh, what can we, what can we restate? What can we create in our own state for our own estate? What can we, what do, what, what, how do we speak to our system? What can we use to speak to our system? So we look at their forms. We look at them. We don't use them. We do look at them and then restate them. And then send them off to do, to be, to create. Now, let me say this about, about what we're doing briefly. Our ancestors wanted us to put the system, to activate the system, and put it, put, put it in place with our documentation. That is why we're doing things, and sometimes it seems like, oh, that conveyance didn't show up in the driveway, so maybe my documents didn't work. That's not, that's not the case. Your documents absolutely work. It's a matter of the conveyance methods and the whole, this whole system, this whole thing that we're doing. We had to, that's what restatement is all about, is we're putting the pieces in place so that everything can move. You know, when, when uh, Empress Mariah talked about, about the commerce and how, you know, the artists are getting, you know, they're not making any fiat out there. The artists, have to know just like we had to know that 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 system is dead is done no one has a bunch of fiat flying around because we said stop printing it and get it out of the way we have our own we said that and so what have they done they've been put, they've been confiscating it confiscating, confiscating fiat, left and right, in every way, whether it be by, be by inflation, whether it be by taxation, because inflation is a tax, or whether it be by confiscation, physical confiscation of the fiat. We said, get that stuff and, because we have our own. And that's how we know our own is going, is, is, it works. And all we're going to do is continue expanding the use of more sovereign dollarium and other instruments like these, be it bond, payment bond, you know, uh, action bonds. We told them to take that stuff, you know. Uh, it had its place in the last era, so we're not, we're not poo-pooing and spitting on it. But now it's time to move on past that. Why? Because we said no more debt, and that's debt. So the artists have to wake up and realize that things have changed. Things have changed. People are not even making it through 
the quote unquote airport with 2,000 in fiat or something like that. People are on their way back and forth to vacation and things like that, and 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 they're stopping them at the at the little port at the port there, and and collecting the, all of that fiat and not even giving them reason why or anything. And let me say this about that: we showed in the past where there were lawsuits where the United States was suing the fiat which I thought was really odd until I realized that the fiat is a person too, just like gold is a person. It's a natural person. Gold is a natural person. Fiat is a dead person. So when we go out here onto Google and just do something like United States versus United States, uh, let's see, Federal Reserve notes, uh, United States Wow, there's think look at this United States versus the United States of America. Let's see. Here here's some of those cases. United States versus 124,700 in U.S. currency, U.S. currency. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> They're taking currency to court. Islam. Yes, because it's a contract too, and you can take contracts to court. I mean, you can have two different, you know, sides arguing a contract, and that's what it is. So even when they confiscate some of that, they don't even put the person that they took it from on on the thing. They just they just say United States versus U dot S dot currency. But if you'll notice, it's, it's United States written all the way out. United States of America or United States written out versus U.S. currency. So they're fighting among themselves about who's the real United States in that thing. They're further validating and affirming because look and look at what it says here the form of the styling of this case the styling is is it u dot s dot or is it united states which is it it says the form of the styling of this case the defendant being an object rather than a legal person is because this is a jurisdiction in rem or power over objects case rather than more familiar in personam over persons case. That's personam jurisdiction. In current U.S., and this is a third kind of U.S. right here. This is United States versus U.S., and then here they don't have the periods, so that's a third U.S. that they're talking about here. In current U.S. legal practice, in rem is most widely used in the area of asset forfeiture. In other words, they can take anything they want to take and just sue that thing, like they sue conveyances or cars, rather. They sue cars. And then... What do they do? Take jurisdiction over whatever it is. And because they have jurisdiction, they can just take it into their custody. Um, it says here, in current U.S. legal practice, in rem is most widely used in the area of asset forfeiture, frequently in relation to controlled substances offenses, 
in rem forfeiture causes uh, cases allow property in this case 124,700 in cash to be directly sued by and forfeited to the government without either just compensation or the possessor or presumptive owner being convicted of a crime. So you know whoever it is that's carrying that they don't they they don't even have to show up. They just the fiat has to show up. And it's going to show up because it's already in custody. So they know that there's a difference between the United States and U.S. and all of that. They also know that there's a difference between our United States and theirs. Because we created ours, Islam. Islam. First, we want to start off help everybody. Because right here, you just showed how deep fraud goes. <laughs> they will actually sue something that don't even exist. It's crazy. Islam. Yeah, Islam. So, with that being stated. Islam, is there a reason why we can't use the same process in acquiring um, anything at this point? Because <laughs> that's what it seems like. This. We can, but it has to be in our state. You have to bring it into our state. Gotcha. You have to restate it. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Gratitude. Um, now, let me tell you what, I, uh, what I'm seeing looking at. I've been looking at it for a while, but my, my spirit is saying just, just look at it a little, a little longer. The things that we see around us, we know that's still our stuff too. We know it is. But what part are we missing? And I, I, I think it's the part that we're doing now. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's that I know that's part of it, if not all of it. What part is it? You know, how how I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going because the as long as the ancestors keep showing us what to do. We're going to keep going, you know, but what part is it that makes the our system pull those things in and say, okay, now you can have it? I, I'm pretty sure it's this part that we're doing right now, but I don't know that for sure. The ancestors have said, just do the work, and so we're always going to seek first the kingdom because we the empire rather because we know all things will be added unto us i'm just thinking you know is there something that's going to link and i and i uh, i i saw i saw something called a writ of attachment where we could attach to something and pull it in But I'm always slow to move in that direction because I'm determined that no matter what I'm going to, we're going to stay in our sovereign state. We're not going to bend for things, you know. Uh, am I afraid to test the system? No, not at all. Not at all. But I am going to continue to be myself. In these tests, I'm not going to capitulate for a conveyance, a new conveyance, or a, a, a domicile, or whatever. I know the stuff is ours. I know it is. It's just a matter of making the connection so that we know, you know. But our ancestors don't want us to capitulate in our search and 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 in our study and in our, in looking at the processes. And then when we, and they already know from our perspective that 
we don't want to get it and then have to fight and fight and fight to keep something because we, we did that last era. We did that in our sleep. We want to know the right way from the top to the bottom, the right way. It's and on. we're not willing to capitulate. We're not willing to capitulate to get that. Is it taking a while? Yeah, it is taking a while. Oh, well, I, we're just going to have to, you know, it it's took on. us a while to get in this situation, you know, in terms of what was done previously, even before we were born. Islam. So I, I looked it up, what you uh, said, writ of attachment, and mm -hmm. this is its meaning. A writ of attachment is a court order to seize or attach property of a defendant before the final judgment of a case. The property is held in the custody of an official, such as a U.S. Marshal, law enforcement officer, or sheriff under court supervision. The purpose of a writ of attachment is to ensure that the plaintiff can receive adequate damages they win the case. The court must protect the due process rights of the defendant and meet certain requirements to issue a writ of attachment. Okay. Wow. You, you know, that just, as I remember in my studies, I was reading something about, you know, um, um, in the last era where they were actually hire us uh, a sheriff or a marshal to go pick up property, um, not just property, but also um, late. Say you got an uh, heir that's um, in lockup, you can actually hire a marshal and uh, pay whatever fee that they they was charging, and the, the marshal will actually go pick up the heir and deliver them to your house. I remember hearing that from other people when I first was in our study and everything. You know, I heard so many stories about things like that and never met anybody who did any of that. And secondly, uh, the minute you pull out some fiat, you're done. <laughs> it's a wrap. Yes, and, you're, and that's so true. So now that we have our own species, that, yeah. that's what I'm saying. And, and we pulled out the case of Mahoney. Stating yeah. um, that you know that you can't be using fiat that that actually makes them incompetent, and if Congress actually agreed to that, that also makes that Congress of that era incompetent, and they lose character. That's yeah. being, and they can't be using that because the the like the um the fifth no fourth amendment specifically states that no no state can admit bills and stuff like that. So and then also you have certain amendments that that states that the power power not given to the United States corporation is or respectively given to the states to the and people. to the and to the people. So that means the people always had the power to create their own currency. Yeah. 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 Our ancestors just wanted us to do it together. They wanted us to unify, they wanted us to stand. Uh, they desire that we, you know, that we come together and, and you know, and do it the right way and govern like government governs, like we're supposed to, you know. So um, our ancestors know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I trust them. 100 zillion percent times 100 zillion. So with that being stated, uh, is there anything further from this amazing, awesome, great, mighty, powerful Congress? Islam, I have something to say. Islam. All right, so thank you for all the information. Um, but this is kind of on the side of things, I just wanted to personally thank you um, because 
the example that you show with the resilience and self-control when it comes to adversity is amazing. And um, it's not something we get to see all the time, especially amongst matriarchs. And <clears throat> just every time I'm on these calls, I learn more and more from you about myself, about how to self-discipline and about how mm -hmm. to not give in to negativity and stuff. And um, I just want to tell you that, you know, you've shown me just not without even knowing that there's honor and correction and and you you tend to do so without chastisement um you tend to do so in a way where it is it's profound and it's long lasting and one thing i didn't even think about until the last night's meeting is like this is a real congressional assembly this is a real this is a real law happening in real time and if i were in a building right if we were in a building I think we tend to forget, or at least me, let me speak for myself, that um, since it's virtual, it seems a little more relaxed. And, you know, I've had my, my uh, encounters and my retorts to the other ones, and I'll just call them that, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I had to remind myself, and it dawned on me yesterday, this is real court action. This is real law going on. If I were in a building, if we were in a room right now, I wouldn't be saying a word. I wouldn't be responding. Yeah. And so I just wanted to thank you for correction. And thank you for for just the power that you hold through through your calmness and and the example you show of how a matriarch should be, one that is in a position of of power, that we all have power, matriarchs and sons. And I just want you to know you've done a lot. Just these few meetings that I've been coming to, I've already learned a lot and I'm already, I'm still working on it. And you're a reminder of that, of the power that I have. And what I can do if I just open my mind and I just think, <laughs> you know, and um, just keep quiet sometimes. Sometimes, a lot of times, not saying anything is saying everything. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. Don't know if that will help anyone, but I know that helped me keep things into perspective, that this, this is a real congressional assembly. This is real law going on. Yeah. This, is not, this is not just a meeting of the minds it's more than that if we were in the building we wouldn't even be bothered we wouldn't respond so that helps me put bring things to perspective and i just want to thank you for that um and you've taught me that there's a lot of discipline that comes with correction that doesn't that doesn't come with chastisement and that there's honor in that so mm -hmm. i just want to say gratitude to you thank you empress islam thank you so much for that uh, encouragement is <sighs> our nobility is front and center with all that we do and we don't sometimes we don't realize how many people are really watching it's way more than we could ever imagine way more it's way more than any numbers under a video it's way more way more in fact, the whole earth is watching what we're doing. And, you know, uh, I just always think I want our ancestors to just to know that because we are our ancestors returned, you know, I just want them to be proud of us. And, and they tell me that they are quite often. Islam. Islam. This is Pharaoh Spike Eel from the Virgin Land. I would just like to piggyback off of what the sister was saying about your your encouragement, not only to the sisters, but the brothers are really, really encouraged. Well, I can speak for myself. And I'm not, uh, I came in on the back end of things, and my knowledge is not um, where it's going, where it's going to be. But I'm I'm very very confident in everything that you've taught, that I've studied. I'm very very confident in in also um, doing um, um, uh, um, what, what we call it. Um, well, you know, e executing the plan, going going yeah. in in places and uh, standing and. Um, 
And I'm also very proud of the identification that we have. I'm very, very proud of the licenses that we have because I've already had to use them, and they work just like they should. We are government. And I thank you, and I thank all of the Moors for all of their, that's that word, demonstrations. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I appreciate all the demonstrations, and and sometimes I demonstrate, and and um and you know the brothers from my territory, you know they want me to uh, say something about that, but to me, I haven't um I haven't done anything that I should be getting an applause for. I've you know I've done demonstrations, and they were they they were successful. But in my mind, I'm looking for a way to get further and do whatever we do better. I'm ready to go in anywhere, do anything under the law, under our government, Mm -hmm. and if I don't cross every T, it's all right with me. If every uh, the, the I is not dotted, it's all right with me. I will still go. I'll cross the T in the middle of whatever I'm doing. I will <laughs> dot the I in the middle of whatever I'm doing. Yes. I'm aggressively <laughs> ready to be, uh, and, and most of my brothers, they don't like when I say this. Uh, I am very eager to be a crash dummy because that's what we need right now. <laughs> we crash dummies going in there, crashing up everything, coming out with the data. We get the data, you put take a ring, you, you pull me down, you put a screw in me, instead of going seventy miles an hour, we're going eighty this time and we go up in there. That's my that's 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 the way I, I see things and that's the way it, I, I like to do things, and also one more. Um, I, I'm I'm very interested in um, since we're going to get rid of all of these um, criminals. I'm very interested in also going abroad, um, making deals and trying to accomplish businesses with um, other countries that we can also go into and. Um, and exploit our moorism and get and, and make the moors aware in other countries of themselves, and that mm-hmm. will make us more. And also, I see that we can also bring a strong income to the nation. Yes, so that's looking at things. I have a few plans already in motion, um, and some of the brothers already know about that. And uh, um, I, I just see success all the way. I keep my ears um, plugged up, and I keep my eyes wide open, so I don't hear a lot of nonsense anymore. I'm a positive person, so I don't hear a lot of nonsense. And so I'm able to move on that first um, – when when I get the first uh, message to go, I'm, I move on that. Mm-hmm. And say peace and love to everyone. Thank you so much, Nobility. Islam, indeed. <laughs> Fortunately, you don't have to be a crash test dummy <laughs> uh, because we're competent. So you just demonstrate at the level of your overstanding, and you'll be just fine. You'll do just fine. Uh, our you. main Islam Nobility. <laughs> uh, our main demonstrations right now are sending out Delarium everywhere because we know that customs and usage is, is really our focus right now with regard to more sovereign Delarium. So, you know, sending it out, doing demonstrations uh, and things of that nature um, is, is, is where we are right now. Islam. Uh, Empress Rosetta, the conference is unlocked for Empress uh, Chitali. All so, right. Um, she, I mean, thank you. Thank oh, you. For, yeah. Islam. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, we just want to, uh, you know, 
delirium. For those who who are, you know, waiting for things to happen, don't wait. Get some delirium and demonstrate it out. Send it out, demonstrate it. Because it's already customs and usage. There are enough people using and exchanging delirium right now that it is clearly customs and usage for us. And that's what's pushing things forward. That's why you're seeing things like, quote, unquote, banks collapsing and things like that, because they have to get out of the way for what we're doing. We're the original indigenous people on the land. And so uh, the more we demonstrate, even if you don't get the result that you think you want, okay, or that you desire, the fact that we keep sending it out, that's customs and usage. Because the stuff belongs to us. We know that. Islam Empress. In Louisiana, Republic, New Orleans, Slaves and Dominion. I would like to um, say on the record, for the record, that I am an artist and a painter. And being that it is on the record for the record, and as you say, that we should use our more stop and delirium and demonstrate it, I would like to state for myself um, that I would love to serve the more and offer my stop, my um, Moorish art to all of the more, should they be interested, and if it's okay, I'd like to share my um, IG information in the chat. And I would love for, um, the more is to engage me in commerce and send me the line for my art, should they be interested in it. I would also like to affirm and restate what I stated in a previous, um, a previous assembly, that I come here to be encouraged and that is exactly what I get and that I actually love my fellow nobility. I, would like to say it out of my own mouth that I am encouraged when I come here. I am, I am uplifted and I am edified out of my own mouth. I am edified by the Moors in this Congressional Assembly and I have never been encouraged by the Moors in this Congressional Assembly. I pull up here on purpose. <laughs> sure. And so if it's okay, I would like to say that, um, oh, that I agree also because I, I wanted to state it, but like it's Meet this assembly goes so fast and like people chime in so fast, these things go by so fast. That you were saying that the um you spoke on artists since it was on the topic of artists and painters and, and whatnot and how the dollar is collapsing and it wasn't what it used to be. And I agree. I agree, I affirm and I agree and I would yeah. love to to um engage in commerce and exchange my artwork that specifically speaks to Moors, to the Moors. Like I paint Moors. I paint more subject matter. I put AA222141 on my artwork. Like that's how I engage. So I would love for Moors to um, engage me in commerce by sending me to Lyme and I would send them artwork. Beautiful. That would Beautiful. Be, that would that would encourage me like to the utmost. I give no weight and no none of my tears to the dollar. Or to the to the forgive me the um, Federal Reserve note mm-hmm. backed by gold and silver. Unlike the more sovereign dollar, which is backed by gold and silver. Yes, indeed. On the record, for the record, I am encouraged by the Moors, and I would love to engage on the subject of, mm-hmm. of commerce and currency, and as we're changing from the old paradigm to the new. Yeah. From, from the Piscean age into the age of Aquarius. Yes. Stayed from the Aquarius, or yeah, the Aquarius moon myself. I would love to pour out to the more. And as an artist and a painter, I do. Beautiful. And, you know, thank you so much for that, Empress Denorsha, because, um, you know, you will get more delirium for your, uh, for your artwork than you would ever receive fiat. And the reason, and there are many, um, and I- there are many, artists out there who are becoming discouraged because they're not getting the fiat, not knowing that it doesn't have anything to do with their beautiful artwork. It's the system that's bad. That's not working for them. You know, 
but they're thinking they're becoming discouraged because they're thinking it has something to do with their artwork and it doesn't. They just need to wake up and know that things have changed and that there's new money on the land. I'm encouraged because I am, I very much know that while I live, I spoke it into the atmosphere. I put it on paper. I have a Virgo stellium, meaning I have five planets in the house of Virgo. So I'm very, wow. uh, like, detail oriented. I put it on paper. Yes, I put perfectionist. it that I yes. was a millionaire while I lived that I would sell my pieces for millions while I live. I didn't give thought to whether it would fall under Federal Reserve notes or otherwise. I just put it on paper. So yes. I'm encouraged and I know now I have insight as to just what that means and to put weight in it and that it what I receive back will be gold back. And so I literally will yes. value for my artwork. That yes. encouraged me to the utmost. I wanted to say that on the record for the record, and I would love to share that with any any artist that I know so they can be in the position that I am where they are getting value for their work. Yes. And I need yes. You know, Empress, listen, I, I'm just so grateful for you and for, for that you're willing to do that because, you know, those artists are out there, they're on the street already giving their talents away for free out there. They're not getting anything and they're out there performing. So why not have their their artistry valued and that value be on the public record in gold receipts? Why not? They're 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 doing it out there for nothing. So you know, when you put price tags on your artwork and you publish it, Publish it as, you know, whatever you really know that it's worth. If it's worth $2 million, say it's worth $2 million and watch Delarium come in like that. I want to cry just like those words. The power, it's not, you're not, you're not selling me a pipe dream when you say it, and I know it more than yeah. ever. It is so impactful. My God, I, I feel like I want to do one of those run around. Remain. Yes, indeed. Indeed. I run around the block type energy just from hearing you say that sentence because it's so real. For yeah. Yep. Yes, indeed. Indeed. You know, uh, Empress, uh, I'll say this also about that. You know, um, the, the donations that I receive from doing this work is in the millions and trillions, uh, uh, hundreds of millions, billions that I receive from doing this, and I can feel it when the Moors tribute that those amounts. I can feel it. I know that I'm super, super wealthy because of what I contribute or tribute to the nation. I feel like Mansa Musa who was running around with all that gold and all those camels, here we are. We're here already on the land. So, you know, more sovereign delarium is customs and usage on our land. Gold receipts is the receipt for the gold. Customs and usage on our land. And I feel like, I, it, you know, if I had to give someone fiat for their work, I feel like I would be shortchanging them. I would rather give them gold receipts. I would rather give them gold receipts. And see, I, my, the gold receipts that I give would be coming from my estate to them. So, you know, uh, Empress Denorsha's information is in the chat. So for those who want to see her artwork, any other Moors, who are doing goods, services, and or or anything, you know, because we don't we don't accept fiat. I uh, I had a more come and 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 visit us this week, um, and he he needed a driver's license. So I, and and the look on his face when I told him we don't accept fiat, he got the biggest lively it's almost like someone breathed life into him he smiled huge 
and said, I just can't believe y'all do that. <laughs> yes, we do. We mean what we say. We mean what we state. And I told him, I'll, I'll print it out for you. You're, you're here at the territory. I'll print the, the, the driver's license out for you. I use mine. And, oh. So, you know, with that being, uh, with that being stated, is there anything further from this highly wealthy, the wealthiest Congress ever? Islam, with that being stated, thank you for that in the chat. With that being stated, uh, we will adjourn until this coming Thursday where we will finish out this process, or I'm, I'm, that is my intention is to finish the process. Uh, and, you know, our ancestors know what they're doing, so we'll just, you know, we'll keep moving. Uh, with that being stated, peace and grand rising to the sovereign, original, indigenous, natural, divine heirs, Islam. Thank you. Peace and grand rising. Peace and grand rising, Islam. Peace and grand rising. Islam. Peace and grand rising. Islam. Peace and grand rise. Peace and love. Peace and grand rise. Wow. Peace and love. I hear some airs. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.